Today's episode of the RiderFlex podcast is sponsored by our friends at Zero Shoes, the most comfortable, versatile sandals and shoes your feet will ever love. Enjoy the fun and benefits of natural barefoot movement everywhere you go. Learn more about them at zeroshoes.com. And on today's episode of the RiderFlex podcast, thank you, please, and apologies. What happened to those? <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm older and my wife says I'm turning into a curmudgeon. Yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe I'm just more irritable and grouchy as I get older and I have more aches and pains. I don't know. But it seems to me that people have forgotten how to say thank you and, and please and and how to apologize when they need to. You know, we interview lots and lots of candidates here at recruiting and consulting firm RiderFlex. And often they forget to use these simple little words that can make a huge difference in how we feel about you as a candidate. Just saying little things like, thank you. Steve, thank you so much for your time today during the interview. Really look forward to uh, next steps in the process. <laughs> I, I know that sounds super basic, but you'd be surprised. I don't get those very often and neither do the recruiters that are on the team. Or please, hey Steve, could you please look at my uh, additional uh, pieces of information that I sent yesterday as it relates to my accomplishments? Um, or apologies when Maybe uh, you were late or you didn't turn something in or you took a day and a half to respond or whatever it is, something you messed up in your communication, make sure you apologize. Which by the way, if you're a job candidate, hopefully you don't have to apologize very often for, for things that you screwed up. But when you do, make sure you apologize. It's these simple little things that tie into the process of being selected as a candidate for a job. Now, I know many of you listening to this episode, you, you want to believe or you'd like to believe that it's only about your experiences and your skill set. No, that's not true. Okay, candidates are selected based on the entire, the, the entire process, right? From start to finish, how you sounded in an email, the, the way you communicated over video, how you answered the phone, how promptly you returned phone calls, okay? All of your communication and your behaviors during the interview process, those all tie into the overall decision on you as a candidate, trust me. Okay, those things are talked about uh, between recruiters and the employer on a regular basis. I mean, details, how quickly you responded to an email, whether or not you had typos, whether you said thank you, whether you returned phone calls, all of it is being judged when you are in an interview process. Keep that in mind, okay? I titled the episode, Thank You, Please, and Apologies. But really what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you here and the tip for the episode is this, you are being judged with your overall behavior and communication as a job candidate, not just your accomplishments and skill sets listed on the resume. Okay, remember that. It's all very, very important. And when you need to, when you're supposed to, say thank you, say please, and apologize at the right time. It'll give you a much better chance of landing the job. And there, is your RiderFlex tip of the day. The RiderFlex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit RiderFlex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.